Hi everyone, my name is Steve Deathball, and I am the Product Marketing Manager for our industry-leading finite element analysis software, ANSYS Mechanical. In this video, I'm going to discuss some of our top highlights in our latest release, 2023 R2. A few years ago, we introduced PyANSYS, which is a family of Python packages that provides a new, unified, and modern way to interface with ANSYS products inside the Python environment. We have expanded our PyANSYS packages this release with the introduction of PyMechanical. While users can already perform scripting with Python inside Mechanical, PyMechanical provides a new way to run automation outside of the Mechanical interface while leveraging the same APIs. With PyMechanical, users can not only script the execution of a wide range of simulations, but also script workflows that incorporate simulation to other automated operations. Open source access is now available at github.com forward slash ANSYS. All objects of the forced response add-on are now supported on existing mechanical workflows, which will improve performance, integration, and usability. A new multi-stage harmonic choice wizard enables the calculation of relevant harmonic indices to include for an accurate response in a specified nodal diameter range in a multi-harmonic, multi-stage cyclic symmetry analysis. Using the multi-harmonics plot, users can evaluate the composition of harmonic responses excited at different frequencies. And the multi-harmonics chart shows the contribution of each order in time and frequency domains. Now, when you are performing a multi-stage cyclic symmetry analysis, as represented by stage objects, the application supports the imported loads, temperature and film coefficient for steady state thermal analyses, and body temperature and pressure for static structural analyses. These load types enable you to create more accurate results. Users can now explore a variety of drop test height and angle variations more efficiently when using the LS Dyna solver through Mechanical. This release has added support to concurrently solve multiple drop test analyses. Each drop test can be set up as a design point and then solved simultaneously in parallel, thereby tremendously reducing the overall time to results being obtained. All simulation steps from pre to post processing can be performed within the mechanical user interface. The implicit ISPH workflow allows for simulation of slower fluid flow events, such as automotive water weighting. Any solid body should be represented as rigid shell body, and an ISPH region should be scoped to each shell body with the type set to solid. To set the material of the fluid part, you must scope an ISPH region to the body and set the type to fluid. No contact object is needed. The interaction occurs between the particle meshing on the surface of the shell body and the particles of the fluid region. This release also contains several enhancements for visualizing and ensuring a high quality mesh. A new quality worksheet option has been added to the mesh tab to simplify accessing and enabling the mesh quality worksheet. Using the quality display options of the display style property, in this case, maximum corner angle, Element contours have been improved so that you can more easily visualize the locations of the poor mesh elements. New shortcut keys have also been added for when users are working with a mesh that includes poor quality elements. Simply use the Shift and W key combination to increase the number of layers displayed on a mesh, and the Shift and S combination to decrease the number of layers displayed. Other meshing enhancements include improvements to the weld feature. A new mesh independent option simplifies the creation of welds in locations where it is difficult to create weld connections. Users can select to use the new mesh independent option from the start or choose the normal and angled weld option, but select aggressive relaxation, which will automatically convert the welds to mesh independent during the meshing process. Finally, users now have the capability to run a design of experiment study with various mesh parameters, including weld length, height, and width. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description to see where you can learn about even more exciting new features in 2023 R2. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all things ANSYS Mechanical.